This is the screw reverser, which moves clockwise will make the engine go forward and counterclockwise will reverse the engine. The screw reverser moves the reach rod. which is attached to the reversing arm and the weight shaft. At each end of the weight shaft are two lifting arms and lifting links. That's forward. It will lower the radius rod to the bottom of the expansion link. A reverse, it raises the rod to the top of the link and it moves the radius rod which moves the valve. This is the combination lever, which is moved by the drop link and the union link. This, is, this motion is derived from the crosshead. The motion at the top is derived from the return crank attached to the, drive, the main drive wheel. This is your eccentric rod, expansion link inside, radius rod, valve spindle, cross head. Forward. Neutral position is in the middle, and as you can see, the radius rod does not move at all. The combination lever still moves the valve a little bit to give it some lead, but it will not keep running because the radius rod is in the middle of the link and it doesn't have any forward or backward motion. The engine will not run when it's in the middle. When it's in forward, you can see it has some motion to it now.